Hello guys and welcome to another Body Stenics tutorial. If you're new to our channel, be sure to start off by subscribing and hitting the bell icon for notifications so that way you don't miss any future videos just like this one. In today's tutorial, we're going to take you guys through 10 unique skill calisthenics exercises to help you increase strength as well as your skill level by covering all planes of movement and body anatomical positions. Now let's begin with exercise 1 and that is the dead press to handstand on the floor. And ensure that for this exercise we begin with a flat stomach and we place our hands to our sides and focus on entering the bent arm handstand position by pressing and piking the hips up simultaneously. In order to perfect this exercise with perfect form, we must think of entering the bent arm handstand position and not think of pressing up immediately into the full handstand. That way we separate the movement in our minds hence making it more achievable and attainable before we actually execute. If you have a straight bar handstand, then we can also take this exercise to the straight bar variation. The straight bar variation is much more challenging, seen as though now our balance is more than likely to tip forward much easier than what it is on the floor. With the straight bar variation, we must separate the movement even further in our minds and execute 10 times slower than what we would on the floor or even on the parallel bars. Hence why it's important to master the straight bar handstand before trying this variation. In order to see our previous in-depth tutorial on how to balance a straight bar handstand, click the card above after watching this tutorial. The third exercise is a front lever drop set, whereby we begin with a hip thrust all the way up to the starting candlestick position, then with the focus of retracting the scapula and maintaining that hollow body as well as retraction all the way down, we're going to perform a full front lever negative all the way down to a hang. Then we hip thrust back up and perform the exact same style of negative with the only difference now in a half lay position back to back. Then we once again thrust up for a third time and finish the set by performing an advanced tuck front lever negative. The fourth exercise is a thrusting exercise but this time in reverse on the rings. Begin with the skin the cat to enter the German hang position and then the goal is to simply thrust in reverse in order to enter the candle position again. A more challenging variation of this exercise is to bypass the back lever position by maintaining a straight hip line all the way through. Body Senex. Next we have a 90 degree handstand push up exercise which is the bent arm planche press. By performing this exercise on a high bar setup enables us to begin at support, tilt forward and momentarily hold before pressing in order to make the exercise that much more challenging. If you're not yet confident with your handstand balance abilities on the tall bar setup you can also try this exercise on the low parallels. next exercise are the pause rep push-ups. Perform five push-ups back to back and then pause at the bottom phase for five seconds. Repeat this until burnout. Typically 25 to 30 reps total is adequate enough for one set. This exercise is brutal for the chest and the arms and it really gets us prepared as it works both our strength as well as our endurance and overall conditioning. Next exercise in our unique 10 is the straight arm straddle press to handstand. The more flexible and mobile athletes are going to have an easier time pressing up with straight arms than what the less flexible athletes will. You can also practice this exercise with elevations on the feet such as yoga blocks in order to give you that edge to be able to maintain straight arms and press tall. Next we have a core exercise which are the hollow body crunches. Ensure that the starting point of this exercise is always the hollow body, meaning that the feet should never touch the ground and the upper back region should never be laying onto the ground either. Perform crunches back to back without kipping up but instead performing a strict movement with the arms being overhead the entire time. The next variation of this exercise is maintaining the hollow body and performing leg raises. Once again the legs should never touch the ground but instead always come back to the starting hollow body position. The next core based exercise in our unique 10 is the hollow body hold combined with a straight arm dragonfly. 
You can either perform these as 1-1 one, one, or 2-2 two, two in reps, but the key for this exercise is to perform it non-stop. Body Stenex. And the final exercise in our unique 10 for today are the L-seat typewriters. The L-seat typewriters really force you to engage in scapular depression and retraction, hence making them one of the most ultimate pulling exercises. Ensure that you focus on popping the chest out and retracting the scapula throughout the entire range of motion of the typewriter reps. Thanks for watching today's tutorial guys. If you guys found value then be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell icon for notifications. We upload a new tutorial every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. European Easter Summer Time. For those athletes who want a more in-depth approach to their calisthenics progress, be sure to get your own copy of the 100 Calisthenic Secrets book. And for an even more depth analysis on how you can progress as an all-round calisthenics athlete, be sure to get access to our exclusive Ultimate Calisthenics course. And for those athletes who want to join the Body Stenics global family of athletes who are taking their skills and strength to the next level, be sure to apply for online coaching today in order to fast track your progress and achieve elite calisthenics status. I'm George, Body Stenics Coach. See you guys in the next video.